So today I have a demonstration of a linear Hall effect sensor. Um, fairly easy device to hook up. There's only basically three pins. We got supply a VCC to it. We're going to be using five volts here today. Uh, we have a ground connection. And then our V out, which varies with uh, the amount of magnet magnetic field across the Hall effect sensor. Um, if it if it's north, it goes one way. If it's south, it goes another. But the when there's nothing, when there's no magnetism, basically, it should sit in the middle of your supply voltage. So in our case, two and a half volts because we're putting five in. So uh, we're going to put a magnet to it here shortly, and I'll show you some of the things that it will do. Uh, again, simply simply three pins, pretty easy, and uh, it takes anywhere from three to three to six and a half volts in. So uh, very usable on your 3.3 volt and your 5 volt uh, single board computers. Uh, fairly low power. Uh, it's like it says, it's a linear device. So you can see here that the field intensity, if you've got nothing, it's roughly at about 2.5 volts. It's right in the middle here. This is assuming 5 volts, which is what we're using. And then depending on which way the field is going north or south and the intensity of it, it will vary its output voltage. So here's our situation of what we have here right now. Uh, we've got 5 volts coming into our little hall sensor. Uh, we have our output here hooked up to uh, an LED to drive the LED and a 1K here to keep the current down fairly low so the LED is not so bright that it overloads things for our camera in particular. And I'll show you with the magnet here just the action of it. We have a fairly uh, fairly weak magnet here, just a very thin one. And you can see our hall device here. It's a very tiny little guy, just this little thing down in here. And I'm going to bring the south pole of this in close to it. You can watch the voltage as it gets closer and you can also of course see the LED just go out because there's now not enough voltage to make the LED itself work. And just take it away and it comes back on. I'll flip the magnet around and I've now got the north side here. Uh, again, it'll make the, uh, it's not very strong, it'll make the voltage go up a little bit, but uh, not by a lot because it's not a particularly strong magnet. And um, this little uh, uh, Hall effect device can only push so much current into that LED. So we have a much stronger magnet here. This is the south face. And uh, you can see as I get it closer, it doesn't even have to touch it and it, it goes out completely. On the LED there and if I keep bringing it in further and further till it actually touches I get it down to about 1.43 volts there so quite a bit stronger with this one here so I'd like to show you something interesting about refrigerator magnets um, refrigerator magnets are usually are magnetized in stripes and they they run across north south north south north south north south etc etc and uh, like this, with these particular ones, they're in this direction. Uh, you, if you have a couple on your fridge, get them out and rotate them to each other and that sort of thing and see how they work out. But uh, if I put two of these on the magnetic sides and get them lined up in the right way, they stick as you might expect. And it's quite hard to actually move them in this direction across those stripes because the north and the south are all grabbing on to each other and then you got to get them to move a little bit and it takes a it takes a fair bit and you may be able to hear them um, making and breaking more or less. Now we're going to take the Hall effect sensor and I'm going to turn the lights out here and I'm going to show you what it what it does when you bring it across the sensor and remember that the stripes are going this way here up and down this so I'm going to bring it by and run it by that and go in this direction here and I'll put my finger there so you can see it a little better and it dims and brightens and dims and brightens each time it goes across the stripe depending on whether it's north and south. 